Hi everyone, it's me, Wei Jiang here. Um, today I shall discuss a question that a parent put up. Um, it is understood that the, the model method is actually a, better, a very good way to uh, teach our children how to do this question and especially at primary 1, um, it's a very good time to be introducing the model method to solve these kind of questions. But before we can even get there, um, there is an alternative way to try and explain. And uh, for this, for primary 1 children, I like to use toys. Uh, because they're concrete materials, and if we follow the learning theory of representation, um, we need to bring the child from concrete materials to pictorial, which is the model, to the abstract, which is the numbers. Um, if we follow this order, the learning would be better um, scaffolded and would be able to stay better with the child. Now let's start. Okay, if I were to do this, okay, I will tilt this um, webcam down to my table here, and uh, I will pretend that I am the teacher teaching the child. So for parents, please bear with me for a little while. So here we go. Hi. So now you pretend that you are Nora. I am Shanti. Okay, and we collected ten stickers. So we have here one, two. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 stickers. Okay? 10 stickers. Now, Nora collected 2 more stickers. That means you collected 2 more than me. Now, how would I know how many stickers you get? I'm not sure. Let's try this, okay? Um, if you have one, I'll have one then. You have another one. I'll have another one. Will you at the end of the day you must have two more than me. So let's try continuing. One and one. Mm, we still got four here. We go one here and one here. Hey, we've got two. So you're supposed to have two more than me. Where should these two go? These two should go to you. So how many do you have? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. And how many do I have? I've got four. So how many does Shanti have? Four. How many does Nora have? Six. So at this point in time, um, most of the children will be able to see this. And uh, this is also the best time for us to um, lead them in okay, to the drawing, the pictorial drawing of the... Um, model and I shall try it okay so now if I have six of this together instead of being a part why not I connect them and hey it looks like a model doesn't it it looks like a big bar with one two three four five six boxes so let's try drawing that okay I have one big bar and I can draw six boxes inside one two three four five six and then this one I can just take away because I already have the drawing here. And same thing for here. I have four of them connected together. It's just one four one bar with four boxes. Same thing. I can draw one, two, three, and four. And there you have it. I don't need this anymore. So now you see I can actually draw this and then this would be ten. This is Nora, and this is Shanti. Congratulations, you have drawn a model. So, typically, this is how lessons are taught in primary one children. We, 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 we like to let them feel this. Um, they must they get their hands onto these things so that they can have a tangible feel of um, what is... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and you know, they get a tangible, tangible feel of what the numbers are. And of course, this is just a start. Um, assuming that they're in primary 1, this is just a start. Eventually, we don't need this anymore because they are able to visualize this in their heads. Then the steps of working would then eventually become much, much faster as they go along. So they have it. Um, how to explain this question using some other method which is not the model method some concrete like toys which is which are easily available at home and uh, lead up to eventually the model method 
So then, thank you very much and have a great day ahead. Bye.